Now, pay attention, 007. I want you to take great care of this equipment. And you might be... Bond. James Bond. Satellite reconnaissance shows the fortress to be patrolled by armed guards. You are to get in, retrieve Ms. Light, collect the Stinger missile and get out quickly. If you must, engage any forces that attempt to intercept. Once clear, head for the border. Good luck, 007. Sake of the car, 007, return fire! Watch out! Lock on your target with a Stinger missile. You need to use your rockets, 007. Custom series. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bond. Call me James. What is it? We've got company. I had a few optional extras installed for just such occasions. Let's give our guests the slip, shall we? Hold on. Love a drive in the country, don't you? Have a seat, 007. Good work on the light operation. Thank you, ma'am. 007, upon your return, a new crisis has arisen. We are facing a major threat to global stability.
In the last decade, NATO, particularly Great Britain and the United States, have been attempting to level the playing field for member nations by forming a limited technology pool. This shared resource would improve the defensive capabilities of these countries and perhaps demonstrate to certain rogue factions the levels of technical innovation we possess. Two days ago, a freighter covertly bound for a port in Halifax, Canada, was intercepted off the southern coast of Greenland in the Labrador Sea. All field agents, NATO representatives and crew were eliminated with military precision, and the shipment was removed from the vessel. Someone was obviously tipped off to the freighter's location. What was her cargo? Laser-guided surface-to-air missile systems. Long-range missile shields, specifications and blueprints, next-generation GPS tracking and triangulation technology. Combined, these items could give the smallest rogue faction the framework for an intercontinental ballistic missile program. But the raid on the ship would imply the involvement of something more than a rogue faction. And if it was the work of an established power, these technologies would already be within their grasp. Was anything else taken? Yes. A Q Branch automobile was part of the shipment. Was there anything groundbreaking about the technologies integrated with the car? Guidance systems, autopilot programs, advanced short-range weaponry, signature masking systems for heat and carbon exhaust. Why do you ask? Why take the car, considering everything else on board? It's just a hunch, but... 007, your hunches are cause for sleepless nights here at MI6. But for now, I need you to rendezvous with your old friend from the CIA, Jack Wade. Wonderful. I haven't been called Jimmy in years. You will meet with Mr. Wade and investigate a possible report of the hijacked shipment arriving at a port in New York City. Moneypenny has made arrangements for your immediate departure. The balance of global power appears to be in jeopardy, 007. Good luck. Welcome to New York, Mr. Bond. I've taken the liberty to include a welcome gift with your car to ensure your arrival is celebrated in the most explosive manner. Do not think of stopping to disable the bomb, as slowing your car will result in its detonation. And your license to kill does not include Manhattan residents. But don't fret, Mr. Bond. I'm sparing you the significantly more grisly fate that awaits the rest of the world. But 007. Our satellite reconnaissance has established a location where it is safe to jettison your vehicle and the bomb. Jack Wade and the CIA have marked a route to your destination and have placed frequency distortion transmitters at specific intervals, each of which will confuse the bomb's detonation device for a brief period, gaining you valuable seconds. Good luck, 007. Hey, Jimmy. Looks like you're in a bit of a pickle. Get the car to Hudson Bay Harbor and jettison it in the river before she blows. Hey, Driving here is not like England. People aren't so polite. Doing fine, just keep up the pace.
thing I asked for the water damage waiver. Well, that was a splashing success. Very clever, Mr. Bond. I shall not underestimate you again. Now pay attention, 007. We've equipped the DB-5 for standard pursuit maneuvers. Left and right wing front machine guns and side mounted rockets for offensive measures. The real treats, however, are applied to defense. A rear deployed smoke screen, oil slick system, and a bulletproof screen that will assist you if things heat up from behind. Now all of this would be for naught without a tracking system. A sensitive microwave receiver that picks up the signal from your transmitting beacon. Simply follow the blip on the onboard display. Need I remind you, 007, that I expect the car returned in pristine order for once? Don't even think about using the car as a battering ram, 007. Pick up some ammunition, for heaven's sake. Do be careful, 007, that paint is incredibly hard to find. Objective attained. For the sake of the car, 007, return fire! Laced with carbon web, you should be safe for the moment. Careful, 007, titanium armor will protect you against stupidity. Keep circling until you find its weak side exposed. Objective attained. The route is 
It's clear, 007. Discretion is the better part of valor. The protective screen is on the rear, 007. Objective attained, 007. Well done, 007. It's good to see you, and more importantly the car, emerge relatively unscathed. Double O Seven, pursue and neutralize the transport. We've equipped the DB Five with laser cutters mounted on the right and left rear wheel hubs. They're a highly effective means of disabling a moving vehicle. Be careful not to destroy the transport or its cargo. You are to apprehend the driver for interrogation. I got some info on the driver of that transport. Ex-con goes by the name of Whisper due to some damaged vocal. It's a hard time in Attica until he was paroled last year. Our informant says he's been waiting to get you for a long time. Man, are you popular. As I said, 007, the lasers need to recharge. Jimbo, one slip equals a major pileup. Back up! Double 
Back off, man. I ain't telling you nothing. Sorry, friend. You'll have to speak up. That's it, bring it home. Get off my tail, man. Objective attained. Good work, AA7. See if you can encourage the driver to give you information about his cargo and its destination. Now then, 007, something particularly stylish for the secret agent who thinks he has everything. The BMW Z3. Agile, forward-mounted machine guns, all points radar, and naturally all the usual refinements. Right. Now, here are a few modifications I'm particularly proud of. Stinger missiles behind the headlights and a remote control mine detonator on the shift lever. Take care of this machine, 007. You seem to have no appreciation for the painstaking effort that goes into building this type of equipment. I didn't expect such a warm reception. 007, you've been discovered. It appears the helicopter is attempting to impede your path by destroying the bridges up ahead. Keep in front of him or you'll be forced to find detours, which will cost you valuable time. is the time to put the car through its paces, 007. Objective attained. Target eliminated. If you find it muggy, 007, try the air conditioning. It has four settings and no CFCs. Goodness, 007. Show some respect for the car. Get moving. You 
You made it, 007. In style and comfort, no doubt. Listen carefully, 007. Activate each mine by depressing the detonator switch when in range and releasing it upon hearing the confirmation tone. Note, you only have seconds to exit the blast radius. Now, the weapons storage facility is protected by the guard towers and reinforced armor paneling which is immune to conventional weaponry. To gain access, first destroy the guard towers and then laser designate the door indicated as the red target on your display. This will guide the CIA's armor-piercing missile to its destination. You won't have much time inside before the airstrike returns to destroy the entire compound. Careful, 007. I doubt you'll be alone. Splendid. I'd enjoy some company. Crush him! Don't let him miss. I'm going to teach you a very painful lesson, Mr. Trigger the mine, 007. That should take care of him. Medical kit, 007. Nice job, 007. Only one mine remaining. Seven, you're not invulnerable, and neither is that vehicle. Objective attained, 007.
on your signal, boss. Bond. James Bond. That must be you. You just can't say hello like a normal person, can you? The beacon's been activated, Jimbo. Get out of there now. You only have 15 seconds before the boys fire up the barbecue. Good job, Jimbo. Here comes the cavalry. Well done, 007. I see the machine performed brilliantly. Satellite reconnaissance has identified an escape route for you, 007. Due to aggressive rebel activity, we are performing a high-altitude airdrop of the necessary equipment for your escape. You will need to guide the airdrop by activating your homing beacon periodically. As always, timing and precision will be imperative to your success. Good luck, 007. Do not hesitate! Destroy him! I hope you like fast driving, Mr. Bond. Well, I'm always one to enjoy a chase. Please mind the finish, 007. You know what birds can do. I'm a stress, 007, that evasive maneuvers will ensure the return of the equipment intact and in excellent working order. The trick is to quit while you're ahead, Mr. Bond. That's one trick I've never learned. Perhaps you'll show me how it's done. Careful, 007, that paint is incredibly hard to find. Enjoy your Sunday drive! I hope your real talent lies elsewhere, Mr. Bond. One rises to meet a challenge. Any in-flight service, Q? This time, Mr. Bond. Enjoy it while it lasts. The very words I live by.
Now listen closely, 007, as this exercise requires finesse and stealth, attributes which you seemingly disregard at times. You will need to use the remote control to pilot the BMW around the warehouse. It appears the car's onboard camera has been damaged in transport, so you'll need to rely on the warehouse security cameras for navigation. It's imperative that you destroy all the crates that house the stolen Q-Branch technology. To accomplish this, simply release an explosive charge next to each crate, find an exit, and depress the remote detonator. And 007, no foolishness, please. You only have minutes before you'll be detected. I'm Dr. Melody Chase. They kidnapped me from the lab in Atlanta. Do you know who these people are and why we're being held here? Objective attained, 007. You'll need to release the charge closer to the crate to destroy it. Pick it up and try again, 007. Halfway there, 007. Objective attained. The security system has detected something and is starting to cause interference on your display. You don't have much time left, 007. Very impressive, James. I like your idea of valet service.
Thermal scan accepted. Hello, 007. I've been waiting for you to turn me on. Structural scans of the water vessel conclude a frontal attack is required to neutralize it. The GPS system has identified a suitable location for the attack. You must get there ahead of the boat. Jaws, launch the mortars! Destroy port! Scanner has picked up activity on the local police band. Patching it through now. All right, boys! We've got ourselves a situation! The boat, the crazy sports car, and the alleged kidnapping. Get down to the riverbank on the dump! Ten more, Sheriff Pepper. We're on our way. Stay alert, 007. The car was never intended to sustain direct grenade impact. Heavy damage sustained. Health packet required immediately. Objective attained. Your advances are unwelcome, James. Pity. I'll cancel our dinner reservations then. Mission accomplished, 007. Radio scanner indicates local authorities are nearby and approaching quickly. MWZ8007, with a few modifications, of course. The very latest in intercepts and countermeasures. Titanium armor, dual side vent deployed missiles, forward mounted rockets and machine guns, mine dispenser aft, and naturally, remote control operation. Right then, we've learned that as a security precaution, Hammond Light uses a group of mobile vehicles, each equipped with computer terminals, to transmit his most sensitive data. Each one sends coded packets of information at prescribed intervals. We've modified the BMW's GPS system to track these vehicles, and have included an onboard terminal, which will allow you to intercept their transmissions. The success of this operation relies on stealth 007. This means I expect to see this machine returned intact and in fine running order. The GPS system will signal which vehicle is starting to transmit data. Once you locate the vehicle, your display will mark when you are in the correct range to intercept the transmission. You need to stay within this intercept radius for the duration of the download. Don't get too close or they'll break off transmission. 
Steady now, 007, that's your target. Do not engage, but keep him in range. Downloading data. Now. Download complete. Establishing connection. Re-establishing connection. Re-establishing connection. Just two minutes left. Easy does it, 007. Please mind the finish, 007. You know what birds can do. Several of you double-O agents, but there's only one of those vehicles I needed back in pristine order. Establishing connection. Download complete. Just one minute left. Easy does it, 007. Seconds left. I don't need to tell you to hurry. Do I, number seven? Establishing connection. Re-establishing connection. Download complete. We should be able to decode the data shortly and contact you again with the results. Now here is a vehicle I'm particularly fond of, the Lotus Esprit. This one has a great heritage and commands your utmost respect, 007. Although still amphibious in spirit, we've had to remove some of the underwater equipment to make room for her payload, a small-yield neutron bomb designed to burn at extremely high temperatures, vaporizing all organic materials. Very novel, Q. We must get them to the stores in time for Christmas. As I was saying, 007, you'll need to bypass the security scanners and navigate your way to the center of the facility marked on your radar display. Once you deploy the bomb, you'll need to make a rather hasty exit. Let's continue the proud tradition of success this vehicle carries, shall we, 007?
I'm afraid it's radio silence from this point on, 007. The structure is affecting transmission strength. Now, as I was saying before... Oh, James, you're wonderful! Splendid 007. I knew the Lotus would be a great success. This is where it must end, 007. It is imperative that you use any means necessary to prevent that plane taking off with its deadly cargo. The Lotus has been through quite a bit, 007. It goes without saying that you should proceed with due caution. You'll have to ram the plane to slow it down and to disable the engines. Just a few more seconds and the code will be transmitted. The victory will be mine. <laughs> Stay back, Mr. Bond. Any closer and I trigger the global release of my deadly virus. Your attempts to stop me will fail, Mr. Bond.
I can't understand what turned someone into such a monster, James. Light was prepared to exterminate most of mankind to realize his dream of world domination. His operation has been dismantled. The virus destroyed. It's over now, Melody. What do we do now, James? We're in the middle of the Baltic Sea. It's 12 hours to England. Now here is a vehicle I'm particularly fond of. The Lotus Esprit. This one has a great heritage and commands your utmost respect, 007. Although still amphibious in spirit, we've had